Thank you for staying up late with us. We have a great program, and we're going to kick it off right now. A story you may be talking about tomorrow. First up, the fall of a very controversial cult leader you probably didn't even know existed, but he attracted people from all over the country. Eligio Bishop, known as Nature Boy, has been sentenced to life in prison in Georgia. Prosecutors say he raped a former group member as she tried to escape and then posted revenge Porn online. Nature Boy led the group called Carbon Nation, which encouraged being naked, pooping on trees, requiring followers to give Nature Boy their money, and allowing verbal abuse like this. That's a good one, slap a back to sense, like stop wasting our time making about you. This about me, rub my legs and my toes and suck on my toes. And you can say it's abuse, but please leave. Now, many of us have always been intrigued by a person who can manipulate so many people with just words. Joining us to talk about it tonight, Todd Smith, CEO of Regal Media and therapist, Dr. Jasmine Boone and Dr. Angela Jones. So, Todd, what do we know about this guy so far? He was found guilty. He is spending life in prison now as a result of raping one member and then using revenge porn. So what do we know about him? Well, basically, he started his organization around 2015, 2016. Some of the oldest members said they joined in 2016. And he kind of convinced people that America was just messed up. Capitalism, racism, we need to leave, live off the grid. Uh, we need to leave this place. We don't need to be consumed with all of the technology. We can live in nature and just be one and be, you know, spiritually together. And it started off okay. Some of the members joined, went overseas, and they said, yeah, they had to live outside in tents, but they, you know, ate food from the, you know, the berries and stuff like that. Started off great, you know, and he had extracurricular activities for certain people. Like one of the first members to leave said she was an audio engineer. He had a recording studio there, so they could do certain things that they enjoyed, but then he s slowly started to change. Like all manipulative people, he started abusing his girlfriend, and that's why she left. He hit his first girlfriend, and she left. But he, he convinced a lot of people just to give money. Somebody, some people gave $300,000, some people gave land, and with cult leaders, I've noticed it always starts out great, and they mm -hmm. always find something to get at a person's heart, whether it's religious, whether it's political, whether it's racial, and they start gradually getting abusive and stuff like that. So a lot of the members, you know, some members died. One, one member couldn't take her heart medicine because he was against that. She dies. People got S STDs because, you know, they were raped and forced to have sex. So it just got, got out of hand, and we see where it's at right now. He's in jail for life. And give me a little bit about his background, Alicia. Uh, one of the members who left said he was very abused as a child. His parents died. No, I'm sorry, where he came from because we heard he was a stripper. He was a stripper and stuff like that. Uh, just a, a bad guy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he had Barber. people, could, Barber, just uh, all, all over the place, but he had people believing that he was the second coming. Mm -hmm. He was Christ, he was a Messiah type figure, but if you look at his behavior, you showed the video of him saying how he has sex around his kids, what part of that relates to any God, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But somehow you can manipulate people into believing that, and like back to his history, but one of the people said that they don't even blame him because they believe that a lot of the stuff that he went through as a child is manifesting now. They say he's like a hurt child. He's 40 years old, but he was his parents died young. He grew up rough, and he's projecting some of this stuff. So that power is something that you know came from uh, 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 that wanting to have that power came from just a, a turbulent upbringing. And Dr. Jones, do you ever think he was sincere in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then it just escalated and morphed into something more sinister? What do you think in reading and researching him? I mean, there's a possibility there was some sincerity at the beginning. I think the ideas that he had about living off of the land, living off of the grid, there's nothing wrong with those mm -hmm. things. Like saying you want to be more natural, being aware of what you put in your body, maybe even disconnecting from some of the, you know, societal norms in regards to politics and, you know, preservatives in our food. So the idea was a good idea, but putting it in the hands of someone who has past trauma and has past hurt that's unresolved, putting it in the hands of someone who's possibly a narcissist or has anti-social uh, personality disorder, that's what happens. It's, it's, it's like putting a gun and you're putting a gun in the wrong hands. It depends on whose hand you put it in. And does someone like this and I can only think about Jim Jones mm -hmm. and the Guyana tragedy back in the 70s where 
Jim Jones, a pastor, convinced mm -hmm. like a thousand black people mm -hmm. to move from Compton mm -hmm. to the jungles mm -hmm. of Guyana. Does he get that mentality where he feels like he's God at some point? I mean, yeah. And I'm talking about Bishop now. Well, there is this sense of superiority that he has. He, he likely already had it. Now, as far as, like, why it happened and where it stemmed from, from past pain and past trauma, that's something we, honestly, we may find out later. But there is this sense of superiority. And once you are able to see that this idea, I can move people into the direction that I want to, and I can convince this person to follow me, there, it's like building on, it's like building uh, a Legos, but of ego. And he's realizing like, oh, wow. They're actually listening to yeah. me. They're doing what I want them You're to do. You're creating a monster. And so he's, it's, it's this building up something that's already dark inside of him and it's sh outwardly showing and and what do you call that type of psychosis or psyche that mm -hmm. we're dealing with when you have an individual who may manipulate so many people I mean, and, and yeah. be good at it anti-social personality disorder these people are charismatic they can charm a room so they're not easily you're not easy to be like oh they have anti-social personality disorder they're very manipulative they really do not care they generally do not care about anybody else's emotions they don't, they're not really even connected with their own emotions mm -hmm. it's the power it's the manipulation seeing that I can move you just by my words or just by my beliefs and you're actually doing it, it, it it's feeding into that I mean now, you a may lot not care about their emotions and how they feel mm -hmm. but you become a great actor absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely and you know like, just like uh, Todd was saying like they started in a place where it was a good idea but then now you're listening to these videos where he's like saying about the the color of their skin and then they're talking about having sex in front of his son while he's while the son is breastfeeding on the mother and it's like I think he's just adding his own ideas seeing if it sticks and once he sees that it sticks and people are following it he goes on to the next thing we're going to continue with you Dr. Boone in just a moment don't go anywhere as we said we'll continue this discussion don't nobody owe you shit, Malia you got to work in real life you're not that beautiful that is going bag on you you're not that bad you're just not I mean, being all the way honest with you, a gonna bag on you the way I'm doing. I ain't gonna take care of you like I'm, you gonna work at Walmart. <laughs> you gonna be some late night, or you might get a relationship with a broke, but ain't nobody about to bag on you. You not that bad, Malia. I know. How do you say you're Ike Turner without saying you're Ike Turner? Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. That was just some of the verbal vitriol followers of the Carbon Nation cult chose to endure. Their leader, Elysio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, is now in prison for life after being accused of raping a former member. Tonight, we continue our discussion about the mentality behind cults. Todd Smith, CEO of Regal Media, and therapist Dr. Jasmine Boone and Dr. Angela Jones are back. Dr. Boone, when you see someone taking verbal abuse like that, and we want to talk about the followers now, yeah, what does it take for an individual to be attracted to one like Eligio Bishop, and then not only be attracted, but to stay after being verbally mm -hmm. abused and physically abused and sexually abused. So Todd mentioned this earlier, you know, we have to keep in mind that he gained a lot of his followers because they were watching his content on YouTube. So they were already aligning with a lot of the topics he was talking about, mm -hmm. the living pure, living off the land. So they already had that alignment. Now, who's to say what their childhood looked like, if they're looking for father figures, if they're looking for what their meaning in life, what their purpose is, but they're attracted to, like, he is certain about what he believes. He is confident about what he believes, and that becomes the initial attraction. If I'm a person who's like, God, I don't, want, I don't know what my purpose is, I don't know what my meaning is, and this guy's like, oh, I can help you, you're like, oh. Can you? Because there's a confidence that he has. Mm -hmm. So what a cult leader often does, he's going to get you away from anybody who can talk some sense into you. Isolate you. Isolate you as soon as possible from anybody, a mom, a sister, anyone who's going to be able to talk sense into you, he's going to get you away from him, from them, right? So once he has you in their grips and they've gone off grid, that's when we start seeing the manipulation and the change. It's a slow burn, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. a slow burn. So once you're so deep in, now, as a cult member, there's this cognitive dissonance that shows up. And that is like, I kind of, I can't believe I got myself in this. And so now I got to stay because 
like this is too much it is a disconnect it is a misalignment of what I once believed and what's really going on and so now there's this shame there's this embarrassment there's this like I can't go back now mm -hmm. and so they're staying much much longer than they would on top of the fact that they're probably scared mm -hmm. right he doesn't seem to be the most kind leader right he's he's been abusive he's probably made examples out of other cult member uh, cult members so there's a lot of different layers to this as to why they will stay but how they come in the first place it's slow it's a slow manipulation there's similarities there's kindness you're feeling this void right and then boom here's the change and just like Angela dr. Jones uh, uh, individuals like Charles Manson mm -hmm. even when he was put in prison the ties were never cut with the members right and so they remain loyal mm -hmm. even after they go to prison even after the system says you're guilty even after they hear from the victim mm -hmm. so I mean how do you e can you even break those ties unless he decides to break those ties I mean some of the ties won't be broken because you have to remember while you're in a cult they're also training you mm -hmm. about the system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is what they're going to say about me. This is what they're going to do to me. And so you're also not only trained about the theories and the philosophies of the cult, you're also being trained to know that, like, the system is the problem. So the fact that he's in court and he got sentenced to life and rape, he probably already talked to them about that. Yeah. Like, this is what they're going to portray me as. They're going to take our the, the meaning of our love and how we represent our love and call it rape. The, you know, so they've they already been trained for this possibility that he is going to get arrested because he is now victimized right now he's the cult people are looking at him and they're like poor him our leader is being you know prosecuted by the system and so this has already been like rehearsed Massage. into them it's, mm -hmm. it's 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 already been massaged into them like they say like a slow burn it, you don't go into something and they say okay this is what's gonna happen it's slowly taught to you that mm -hmm. the system is gonna go against me so be ready all right we'll be back with more factor don't go anywhere we'll pick up the discussion on the other side of the break we'll continue talking about cult leader Eligio Bishop out of Georgia who has been sentenced to life in prison stay with us here on the factor to the factor on center we continue our discussion about the psychology behind coats the members of the carbon nation were subjected to a few different conditions over the years including polygamy and refraining from bathing the leader nature boy will spend the rest of his life behind bars convicted this week sentenced this week he was recently sentenced for that rape and Todd Smith CEO of Regals Media therapist Dr. Uh, Jasmine Boone and Dr. Angela Jones are both back here. Now, one of the things he was always preaching, we're one race, we're one people, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden now, it's, I'm the black man, yeah. and they're out to get me. Mm -hmm. And it initially started with a young lady, white female from mm -hmm. Canada, whose family called authorities and put a lot of pressure on him. Mm -hmm. And it's a multicultural group, right. but now he's saying it's about him being a black man. Your thoughts on that, guys? Right, the video, it's actually a video of him staying in the front, and he has all the multicultural <laughs> yeah. people behind him saying we're one color, we're all different shades of brown. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that he was able to just take what our philosophy is of this cult, flip it to use it to, you know, for his advantage, to me it's almost like a red flag to the mm -hmm. cult members, like, hello, like, he, he wavers. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, it, it, it's it's just a red flag, even just for people who were even thinking about joining this cult. Like, okay, you don't really have a strong stance in regards to that. We're all one. You're just using that to get more members right. into yeah. there, so you can get more people to manipulate to get their money and to do whatever it's you want to do. It's all manipulation, and that's yeah. typical of a cult leader. It is as it is convenient and favorable for me, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it's favorable for me to believe that we're all one color right now. But as soon as that is not is no longer convenient for me, it's racism, it's this, it's that. So you'll always notice with the cult leader, I am the center. Mm -hmm. I am the God complex mm -hmm. holder, right? And so that's what we're seeing. He's shifting because now that's not working in my favor. Mm -hmm. It's a racism issue. And we're talking about motives, money. Money. Oh, sex power and control mm -hmm. yes you know? yes and and when we say money guys PPP loans he yeah. convinced many people to give their loans because he started before the pandemic right Todd go ahead and that's the in every cult that I've ever studied money is always the root of 
a lot of things. Obviously, sex as well. But to convince people to give their life savings, one person, like I said earlier, one person gave three hundred thousand dollars. Some per, some people gave land. That's we see it. We see it in all walks of life. It's just not sex code. We see it in politics. Mm -hmm. I know we're not talking about politics. Mm -hmm. When you convince somebody, woe is me. Uh, they're out to get me. Mm -hmm. We see that all the time. But people are so. I think people have a, a, a need for a messiah from people who aren't the messiah. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? We need somebody to save us from the problems of the world. So you start believing that type of rhetoric and we gravitate towards charismatic people mm -hmm. not realizing what their message is. Right. You know, like you said, you keep switching up. You see that in all walks of life. One, per one minute, there's no racism or it's not about race, the next minute it is. So we see that in all walks of life because we want to believe that some one person is going to correct all Absolutely. the wrongs of the world and it's going to change our life. No, it's not going to happen like that. I have a, uh, I have a friend that would always say, when we talk about religious cults, a pastor is my pastor, they're not my master. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Like the minute you try to <coughs> dictate what I do, and you want to control my money, that's right. when I back off. I have to leave with you? No, I'm not leaving anywhere. Either. So people have to realize these are human beings. Stop looking for God in human beings mm -hmm. and start realizing that nothing is going to change your life but you. And nothing's right. going to change the world. And really, the last time we had, when I was researching this, I found there are a lot of current active cults that mm -hmm. are out there. Absolutely. And we see a proliferation of them as a result of social media. Right. And so people have to be careful who they follow, right, Dr. Jones? There, there's a new platform. I mean, social yeah. media is everyone's new platform. And, it, you know, cults is not only about a religious belief, it can be about a therapeutic belief, mm -hmm. just an ideology. Mm -hmm. it, it could be about a food. lifestyle. It could be a lifestyle. So it doesn't always have to be surrounded around like a god or mm -hmm. a religion it could just be a we have common thoughts mm -hmm. and we come together, but then what happens is the definition of the cult is different. It's about analyzing that one person mm -hmm. rather than an actual, you know, ideology. a belief or mm -hmm. ideology. All right. We want to thank you all for joining us on The Factor on Sension Night. Fascinating story out of Georgia.